Hello, BTN. My name's Tess. <laughs> and I enjoy playing with my sister and just doing normal teenager things. So on the 24th of November last year, I was diagnosed with a spinal cord injury. And the, how I got a spinal cord injury is because of an infection, MRSA. And one day I was a happy, healthy girl and the next, I couldn't feel my legs. The spinal cord is your main nervous system in your spine that controls all your fingers, muscles, ligaments, everything. And it's also connected to your brain. Your spinal cord is protected by your bones in your spine, which is called the vertebrae. I just thought I was getting a cold and I had really, really bad back pain and I just thought it was normal and I was struggling to breathe. I just had flushes, hot flushes. Um, I couldn't walk, I couldn't sit, I couldn't stand. No heat packs, nothing would help my back pain. My treatment for the infection was I was on antibiotics through a pick line, which is like a drip in your vein. And I was on that for six weeks. And then I started being able, allowed to sit up while I was on my drip and just learning to roll, sit, um, move my arms. Um, yeah. It was very confronting, scary, like I didn't know what I was able to do and what I wasn't able to do. I, it was just very hard and scary because you don't know what your future was going to hold, whether you were going to get worse, get better. You just didn't know. and. Finding out that you'll never be able to walk again is really, really, really scary and hard because that's what you've known all your life, is to have your legs and to be able to do everything with your legs, not just your arms. <laughs> so, I wasn't able to get on my bed by myself. I wasn't able to get in a car. I wasn't able to get on a couch by myself. And doing that and achieving that is a big accomplishment for me because I, when I was in hospital, I didn't think I could achieve it. I didn't think I would be here at, like as I am today being fully independent. I thought that I would always have to rely on someone. But being able to do this now myself within only a couple of months is a big achievement for me, is a really big achievement. And just being able to go outside, go down to the shop, play with my sister, like, it's a really, really big achievement for me. and. I'm so proud of myself for where I am today. <laughs> My advice to other kids is you can do anything an able person can do. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. It might take you a little bit more time. You might have to do it differently. You might not walk, but you still have a lot of things to give and a lot of opportunities ahead of you, your doors open for everyone every single day.